Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about key signature. In grade one, we already learned C major. C major has no sharp, no flat, and then G major have F sharp, D major have F sharp, C sharp. Now we have A major, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. This one you will need to memorize. But in case if you forgot, you can actually count a fifth interval in each of them. For example, C to G. C major, no sub, no flat. Five step up, C, D, E, F, G, you will get G. And then G, five step up, G, A, B, C, D, you will get D, D major. And then three subs, A major, D, E, F, G, A. So it's actually fifth apart. Each of this is interval of five. And then, same goes for the sharp. G, C major, no sharp, no flat. G major start from F sharp, right? So, two sharp is the first sharp plus another one, which is the fifth higher. F, G, A, B, C. You have C sharp. And then A major comes from F sharp, C sharp plus another one, which is five step up also. C, D, E, F, G. You got G sharp. So interval of fifth for the all the sharp sub keys and interval of fourth for all the uh, flat key. So F G A B you got B B C D E you have E B flat the next flat if you forgot B C D E you get E flat and then three flat B flat E flat four step up E F G A. Okay, that's the way to count. Otherwise, you just need to memorize and copy the key signature. So, treble clef F sharp is the same as grade one, right? It's here, and then C sharp also here. G sharp we need to go up here. Do not write F sharp on the bottom, G sharp on the bottom. That it will be wrong. Okay, the place is already fixed here so this is just for you to copy a major we have f sharp in the bass clef is here c sharp g sharp and so on okay so this one just need to copy flat key is the same if you have only one flat f major then just b flat you have two flat b flat plus e flat now three flat b flat e flat a flat and then the key is e flat major Bass clef, same thing. B flat here, E flat here, A flat here. Okay, let's move on. Name the key shown by the key signatures, then write the tonic triad. So they have given you all the key signatures. You just need to write what is the scales, what major, and then the tonic triad. Tonic triad is the first note, third note, fifth note. So B flat, E flat, A flat, three flat. This is E flat major. And E flat major, of course, first note is E flat. And then G, B flat will be third note. The flat is already all here, so you just need to write the notes here. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, it will be A major. So A, C sharp, E. Same thing, F sub, C sub, G sub, but in treble clef, another A major, A, C sub, E. F sub and C sub, this is D major. So D, F sharp, A. B flat, E flat, A flat. Three flat will be E flat major, E flat. G, B flat, two flat, B flat major, B flat, D, F, one flat, F major. It will be F note, A and C. You can write the bottom one also, like this, F, A, C. This is also correct. Only the key signature is fixed. For the note, you can write it anywhere. F sharp only, this is G major. G, 
B D <laughs> the pencil is too blunt so G here B here D here okay so another one G major for F sharp G B D F sharp C sharp this will be D major D F sharp A B flat E flat will be B flat major and the note will be B flat D F next add the clefs and key signatures to form the scale names so they have already given you the scales B flat major and the notes starting from the first note to the last note B flat major of course first note must be B flat right so is this treble clef or bass clef so this will be treble clef and then how to write the key signature B flat here E flat here next question E flat major this must be E flat it will be bass clef and B flat on the bottom E flat on top a flat bottom again a major this note will be a in treble clef not bass clef yeah bass clef will be middle c so a major we have f sharp we have c sharp we have g sharp three sharps next b flat major so this is the note b flat in bass clef b flat and e flat for the key signature two flat e flat major this will be treble clef B flat, E flat, A flat. Now A major, so this is the note A in bass clef. Bass clef, A major we have three subs. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. Write down the key signatures of the following. A major we have F sharp, C sharp and G sharp. D major two sharps on the F sharp and C sharp G major only one sharp F sharp E flat major we have B flat E flat A flat B flat major just the first second right B flat E flat F major only B flat insert accidentals to indicate the key names and then draw brackets over each pair of semitone so all these are major key major key semitone will be note number three to four and then seven to eight the last note yeah and then they ask you to put accidentals so do not write key signature in front a major we have f sharp c sharp g sharp we will look for the note f sharp c sharp g sharp Number three to four. Ascending, we count from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last two. It's always the last two. Okay. If you forgot this, then you have to count one by one. A to B is a tone. B to C sub is a tone. D sub and C sub to D is a semitone. Now D major. D major. We have F sharp and C sub. So C sub, F sharp, and descending. Count from the bottom, which is backwards. One, two, three, four. These two. Last two. Always the last two. For major key. Next time we will learn minor key, then it will be different. Not three, four, seven, eight anymore. B flat major, B flat and E flat. So be careful for the B flat. Because first note is B flat, last note will be B flat also. So you have to put both the flat because it's different octave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. E flat major, B flat, E flat, A flat. So E flat will have double here. Same. B flat, A flat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. G major only have F sharp. Last two. Number 3 to 4. B flat major, B flat, E flat. And then remember, B flat. Okay, B flat, C, D, E flat, 3 to 4, and then last 2. Okay, now this is coloring. I don't have pencil, uh, color pencil with me now, so I'll just mark, okay? A major, we have F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. 
So F sharp is taken, C sharp is taken, G sharp is taken. G major, we have F sharp with the blue color supposedly. D major, purple, right? D major, F sharp and C sharp. F sharp, C sharp. B flat major, B flat and E flat. So B flat, E flat is taken. E flat major, B flat, E flat, A flat. So B flat, E flat. A flat F major we have B flat so now the questions now name the key which has left over as key signature left over F sharp C sharp G sharp and B flat of course sharp and flat cannot combine this is two different key B flat only this will be F major F sharp C sharp G sharp A major Write the scale descending without key signature. So use accidentals and then mark each semitone with a bracket. This is the example. E flat major, you have to start from E flat and on E flat descending goes down. On the flat, put it in, put the bracket in. So A major, of course, backwards A, G, F, E, D, C. B, A. You have to end on A. A major, three sharps. F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. As usual, number three to four, and last two. One, two, three, four. Here. B flat major. They only give you B. Put yourself the flat. A, G backwards F E flat because B flat major have B flat and E flat D C last note remember there's also flat B flat semitone 3 4 7 8 E flat major again you've got to put flat here E flat D backwards C B flat because we have B flat, E flat, A flat. A will be flat. G, F until you reach E with a flat. Start on E flat and on E flat. 3 to 4, 7, 8. A major. A, G sharp. F sharp. We have F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. E, D, C sharp, B, A. Semitones, semitones. B flat major, you need to put the flat. B flat, A, G, F. We have B flat and E flat. So E flat, D, C, uh, C, B flat. Okay, D to E flat, A to B flat. Now name the keys, then copy the passage using the key signature instead of accidental. You have G sub here, F sub here, C sub here. This is also G sub. So F sub, C sub, G sub, three sharps. This will be A major. And then actually this is just copy. So you put clef here, use key signature, right? So F sharp. C sharp, G sharp, and then you put your time signature 4 4 and just copy the note. A, B, G sharp. We already have the sharp in front here, so don't need to write anymore. The sharp, just like this. And then copy A, B, A, G, F sharp, also just. F note enough because already have in front. So same goes for this. Everything just copy and then for this note you just write C, don't need the sharp. This note you just write G, don't need the sharp. Okay, so I'll just skip this one since it's the same thing. So F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, A major, put in the sharps and then just copy the accidental you can remove. Now B flat and E flat. This will be B flat major clef 
B flat A flat and then just copy two four this note just B G is the same A is the same now B E just remove the flat same goes for this remove the flat remove the flat and then done okay so let me complete one for you so this is quiver crochet bar line crochet just follow bar line and then quiver quiver crochet minimum a finish that's all e flat b flat a flat a flat b flat e flat it's the same three flat e flat major and then you copy b flat b flat a flat three eight and then the notes just remove all the flat and that's just, just copy everything exactly the same rhythm the same and write neatly below the notes that you are given then it will be just nice and so on okay i'll just keep the copying g sharp f sharp c sharp f sharp c sharp g sharp in order right they are they don't give you in order because g come first f come later but then you have to put it back f sharp c sharp g sharp three sharps is f major, uh, a major and then kiss it nature f sharp c sharp g sharp this way two four and then just copy remove all your sharps okay next question b flat and e flat and a flat three flat yeah b e a so e flat major and bass clef e flat major you need to write b flat first e flat later a flat like this then three eight then copy b flat e flat e flat without the accidentals because already have key signature in front until finish one last question b flat e flat b flat e flat there's no a flat so only two flat this is b flat major treble clef b flat e flat a uh, b flat here e flat here e flat must be on the space and then two four and then you just need to copy remove 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 okay now copy the tonic triad without key signature so you have to put accidental a major f sharp c sharp and g sharp if you don't put accidental and you only put a c e then you won't have c sharp okay so you have to put the accident uh key signature if you don't have accidental this one you just need to copy it's exactly the same it's just copying exercise for you b flat major key signature b flat and e flat and then when you write the note of course remove your accidental b flat major e flat major you have three flat you have to write out everything although there is no a note here right you only have e g b you only have these two flat a flat there's no a note but you still have to put because it belongs to e flat major e flat major has three flat you got to write everything out and then just copy next question complete the tonic triad without key signatures the given note is either the first third or fifth of the major scale so this is f sharp third note first note will be d fifth note will be a this will be d major d major have f sharp and c sharp without key signature so there's no c note here finish that way now this is the fifth note you need third note d first note b and there's no b major in grade 2 yet right so we have b flat major b flat and e flat there's no e note then like this will be enough g e c it's come from c major because we always look at the first note first note will be the major scale c note c major no sharp no flat like that only f major f a c 
F major has B flat but there's no B note here this way will be correct E flat major E flat G and B flat because E flat major we have B flat E flat A flat so these two notes here A flat there's no A note like this only third note is B first note will be G fifth note will be D G B D G major F sharp there's no F note here and then E this is A yeah? A major A major we have F sharp C sharp G sharp three sharps but only C note comes out so C you got to put sharp like this G third note E so E major we also haven't learned in the grade 2 we only have E flat major so put it flat flat we have B flat E flat A flat for this so only two notes comes out Next question, name the tonic triad indicated by the dot on the keyboard. So this is like your piano or keyboards. Two black keys, go down one step, it will be C, C, E, G. Definitely first note is C, C major. E flat, E flat major. E flat, G, B flat actually. So first note, D, D major, D, F sharp, A. This is F A C, right? So F major. Oops. Okay. So just now, it, this is E flat major. This is F major. Let's do the revision one. Name the key of each of the following extracts. Then add the bar lines. Four four. You only have B flat. So this is F major. 4, 4, of course, 4 counts only, 4 quarter bits in a bar. 1, 2 plus 2, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, F sharp only, this will be G major. Also 4, 4, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, bar line. 1, 2, 3, 4, bar line. 2 plus 2, 4. This is 4 counts. Let me breathe. Now, C sharp. F sharp, F sharp, C sharp, two sharps, D major. Another four, four times signature. One and a half plus half, two, two plus one, three, three plus one, four. Here, okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two plus two is four. Number two, at the correct time signature at the beginning of is extra. So this one you just need to count. One quarter. 2 crochet, 3 crochet. You can double check here also. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So this is confirmed. 3, 4. Now, 1 crochet, 2 crochet, this 2. 4, 4, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This will be 4, 4. Next. You cannot count in crochet anymore. You only have three quavers. Cannot be one and a half count, right? So one quaver, two quaver, three quaver. Count in quaver. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three quavers will be three, eight on the bottom. One, two, or one, two, three, four. So this has two options. You just need to look at their grouping. If they have less note like this, one. You can count in minim, actually, one. Two. One minimum, two minimum, one, two. If it's four, four, usually it's a little bit more lively. It has a lot more notes. Two, two, slightly less because they count in minimum. Okay, but two, two, and four, four is very, very similar, so be careful. Copy out the following tune, half the notes value to make the time 4-4 four, four. because this is 4-2 means 4 minimum in a bar. You only need 4 quarter in a bar. And do not get tricked by the first bar. This is only the third and fourth beat. It's not the complete one. Okay, this is called up beat. They don't begin on the first beat. So be careful when you have this kind of question, check everything. The safest one is checked in the middle because the first one might not be the complete bar. So, see, one, two, three, four. One, count in. Four, four is only a crochet. And for the second one, C and D, half the value, it became quiver. And then, third beat, 
for P also become just a quadrant. Now this one, two, three, four. In this case, because one and two all are coevers, you can group all together. Remember the notes grouping three and four, you cannot join them, but one, two, or three, four, you can always join them together. It's more neat this way. And the number three, half the value. Number four, half the value. So remember, if the quiver is in the middle, two and three, then you just separate them. Two quivers, two quivers, don't join everything together. One and two is okay. Three and four is also okay. Same goes for notes and rest. Last note, like this. So, this is bar one. When we count, this is bar one, bar two, bar three. Bar three is also incomplete. See, one, two is here, three, four comes here. So, total, this is actually three bar only. One, two, three. This is half, this is half. Add the correct clef and key signatures to the following tonic triad. D major, of course this has to be D in treble clef and then key signature of D major, we have F sharp and C sharp so don't put any sharp here, you don't need an accidental anymore we already have key signature, B flat major, bass clef, B flat, E flat A major, this is also bass clef, A, C sharp, E, F sharp, C sharp G sharp. So remember, key signature is very important. If you don't put this, then it will be A, C, E. No longer A major. Now, the last page of revision 1. Add the clef and key signature. Then write the letter names of notes, including accidentals, when necessary. G major, this is bass clef. Draw a bass clef. This is the first thing to do. Second thing, add key signature. G major, F sharp. Third thing to do letter names this is g b d now e flat major this is treble clef key signature b flat e flat a flat and of course first note g uh, e flat with the flat g and b flat so this is the letter name include accidental because e flat have flat b have flat also f major this will be treble clef F A C we have only B flat here, okay, and the note F A C. A major, this is A in bass clef. We have F sharp, we have C sharp. Oops, C sharp on the space, please. G sharp, and the note will be A, C sharp, E. B flat major, this will be treble clef. B flat. E flat and the note will be B flat tonic triad D F one three five first third fifth note yeah A major this is treble clef F sharp C sharp G sharp you have A C sharp and E D major this is bass clef F sharp C sharp D F sharp A B flat major, bass clef, B flat, E flat, A flat, E flat, G B flat, or the tonic triad. Under each note, write its letter name. So just need to look at the clef and whether it has a sharp or flat only. F sharp, D, this is E flat, this is also E flat. This is C, a very high C. This is F sharp. This is B flat middle C. Last question. Insert the correct rest at place. Mark with the asterisk. 3 8, you only need 3 coils in a bar. You already have one here, second one, third one is missing. One coil rest will be enough. One and two is here, third one is missing. One and a half quiver, another semi quiver to complete this into two quiver, three. One, two, three. First and second is missing. You can always combine. This is whole bar empty. Remember bar rest. You have to put a semi brief rest, even though it's just three eight times signature. 
Hold bar empty, just put up bar rest, which is semi brief rest. Now three two, you need three minim. Second bit is missing, so one minim rest here. First, second, third is missing. Another minim rest here. One second bit is missing. Third bit is here. So another minim rest here. Minim rest. Hold bar empty again. Semi brief. Three four. Three quarter in a bar. One two three. Incomplete. You need another half to make one quarter. This is one. Remember, right? Half plus quarter plus quarter. Second bit missing. Third bit is here. So one quarter rest. First bit something is missing. Second, third. Three semi quaver. You need four to make a quarter. So just one more. Whole bar empty again. Like this. On top. Just the top, yeah, not the whole thing. Okay, that's all.